This is going to be a video on my solution to the 2x2x two by two by infinite problem. So first, let's start off with the 2x2. Two two. The simple concept, the simple puzzle that we're going to be building around. In my case, I used a 2x2x3 two by two by as a core. So this concept basically create a puzzle which can extend into infinity potentially. So, first I considered, well we need to transfer information. And where else do you transfer information? Well your eyes see a Rubik's Cube and then your cells, nerve cells, uh, transfer the information to your hands which do the algorithm. So I figured okay you got cells, each one is not really that much different than the other yet they can transfer information over a long distance. So we'll start with there. But first, what's the main problem with the design we have right now? Each piece is slightly thinner and has a smaller circle than the other. Unfortunately, the pieces would become evenly, infinitely thin and, well, we run into problems. We could also have the other, cons um, other solution in which you just keep hooking the next one into the next one into the next one. This seems to be a solution and it doesn't mess up. But unfortunately, the pieces start to slide out if you turn it by 90 degrees. And then, the, therefore, the puzzle isn't going to work. So, what if we add gears? The gears will be a lot, our method of transferring information. Now each piece can transfer information from the core through a series of gears. This is good, but it still doesn't change the fact that the puzzle will fall apart. For that, we're going to have to look into the average car. Each car has, well, an engine. That's a pretty bad drawing of an engine. But basically this is a concept. You have a piston and a combustion chamber. This moves up and down. But then wait a minute. If you gear that up, then you can create a sliding piece which locks the puzzle together. Sorry, I was just messing. So then, if we take everything together, we use the part that doesn't become infinitely thin, gear it up, and then get a piston that moves up and down to lock and unlock the puzzles. Pieces in between a turn, then we're set. We'd have to put two sets of gears, however, because they wouldn't engage depending on which turn they yeah. But what about the core? The core will have to be a gear cube, or a cube that turns uh, at 180 degrees, yet the middle layer only turns 90 degrees. That means the difference in between each layer is just 90 degrees. We'd have to create a kind of funky looking core looking something like this, in which the middle layer is just a bunch of gears. Then, the second layer will then gear up from that, and the 90 degree difference will be able to determine whether the plug should be up or down stopping the layer. So that is my solution to the 2x2x infinite problem. Thank you for watching.